Hello, 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 all you wonderful people, and welcome to my backyard. There's Squizzy and his favorite toy. And there's Mac out there, and there's Rip. There's our bunnies. Oh, they're all back in the cages. The two on the right are girls. They get to go out and play for a couple hours, and then I'll lock them up, and then I'll let Rosie on the end there out and he could play for a little while and there's my garden it's just a little tomatoes some herbs some peppers um, green beans cucumbers zucchini the other side of that trellis was supposed to be squash but it didn't grow at all so I just wanted to be outside today and I have a whole bunch of stuff over there on the table that I want to talk to you about so in the blink of an eye I'll be over there Hello, hello, all you wonderful people again. Welcome to our channel. My name is Renee, and the channel name is Bingo Life Treasures. First, I want to apologize if you feel like we have been missing in action. It's been a very, very strange week. Um, I have allergies on overload. I'm sorry, I have, I have an elderberry lozenge in my mouth, and... I have a hot tea that I may have to take a drink out of, but just all that junk is just rolling down the back of my um, throat, and um, that, and I almost, I couldn't talk, almost couldn't talk yesterday, so doing a video yesterday wasn't possible, and my husband had um, a minor outpatient surgery, and I did go to Goodwill on Wednesday, but I found out that Wednesday was Tuesday, which is great for me, because I get a 30% discount, but there were so many people there, there was somebody in every single aisle, so for me, and that many people, trying to video is not an option, um, but I do have some great things to talk to you about today, uh, not all of them came from this trip on Wednesday, um, <laughs> Crazy Lamp Lady, um, who is also a reseller, if you haven't checked her out, Check out, she has some great content. She's been doing it for a long time. She says she has a magic goodwill. I didn't think I would have a magical goodwill around here, but I do. And um, I'm not gonna tell you where it is until Amanda comes out. We're gonna go to that goodwill and together, and we're gonna do a photo shoot in that town. And it's gonna be really scary because she's that. I was there. I found a Whiting and Davis mesh purse. Now, if you don't know anything about Whiting and Davis, um, they have been making mesh purses since the 1920s. This is not an antique, but it is vintage. And I saw it and I was like, oh, could it be? No, it couldn't be. So I went, oh, yes, it is. And I paid eight dollars. So, most of the good wheels around don't know about designer bags like they know about Nike. Because sometimes the Nike prices can just get out of sight. At that same goodwill, same day, I also found this. This is an unsweet, it's pronounced Sharif, S H A R I F. This is all leather. Look at those beautiful colors. And the suede inside doesn't have a mark on it. It's so soft. Clean, clean, clean inside. This is one of those that I would want to keep for myself. But it just doesn't have enough room for me to be able to carry all the stuff that I need to carry. And one of those things that I didn't think I would find. Um... And I knew you wouldn't believe this part, so I left the tag on. I paid a dollar ninety-nine. I think somebody might have mistagged it, but that's the tag that was on it. That's what they charged me. I'm fine with that because I paid up for some of the Nike stuff. I'm gonna show you. Um, those Cole Hans um, are selling for about thirty dollars. 
So anything that I paid up for, the Kohan makeup, you know, the difference. And they are an excellent brand that you will especially if you can get the ones that have the, the Nike Air technology inside, especially for a women's dress shoe. Um, I also found this pair of men's Eco, E C C O Eco. They're all leather, and um, I paid twelve ninety nine. I paid up for those. They knew what those were. Yeah, but um, they're selling for um, about thirty. So even at twelve ninety nine, twenty four twenty five would be doubling my money. Thirty. Um, then at a, this is from several different trips, because like I said, when I was a couple of times I've been in, it just was not the time to um, get the quality in there. Um, these are a pair of rock courts that I found. They are men's lace up dress shoe, Oxford. And see, this was much more reasonable. It's like, this is what one pair of shoes would be for price. $6.99. Very good shape. Not a whole lot of scuff. Not a whole lot of wear on the shoes, on the heel. Um, and let's see, the rock ports, I do have to add that they're too steep for a size. The rock ports um, sell for between 19 and 25. Um, I found these adorable women's Nikes. Um, I did pay up for them, I paid $9.99 for them. But they are Nikes, they're quite clean. Um, I'm not going to have to clean any part of it. Um, I'll give the, the sole a scrub to clean those up a little bit. <laughs> it was so funny. Look, they almost broke my shirt. <laughs> um, I was looking these up for what they sell for and how many were listed and you know, how many sold and all that kind of stuff. And I saw one that had, um, had the person had taken pictures with a, like a wooden plywood background on the bottom and the back. And I went, that's Josh. That's Harry Tornadoes. And they are the exact same shoe, the exact same size. <laughs> like, I guess great minds think alike. We both have good taste in shoes. <laughs> um, but these are a light run. Um, they sell between $19 and $24. So, they're, you know, they're bad. Um, I found these pair of Sperry's. They're men's Sperry's. Look at that. They are just in excellent condition. Um, the bottoms hardly show anywhere. <laughs> Please give you a quick marking on the bottom of the shoes because it doesn't come off very easily. Um, I paid. Do you see that? Four ninety nine for those. So a nice pair of berries. And um, those berries sell. There's been Several that have sold uh, recently, $29.99. And there, I think there's like three sold and there might be four listed. So I, I don't expect these, um, I, expect, I expect them to sell quickly. Also uh, paid up for this pair of Nike, the men's pair of Nike, the Revolution. Um, I paid $9.99 for them. And these are eight and a half men's, and there's only one pair that sold, and there aren't very many listed. Um, the one that sold sold for twenty six ninety nine. So I'm thinking I could probably list mine right there at twenty six ninety nine. And um, for our, sorry, what size are they? Men's eight and a half. And this is. A shoe that I was not familiar with, and I paid $4.99 for it, and I thought, hey, you know, for $4.99, I'll take a chance on it. It's really clean. Um, I'm not going to have to, you know, scrub on the top. Um, I'm going to have to clean up the bottoms just a little bit, but um, they're the Pearl Ayumi, the ISO Shift. And, um, when I looked at sold up comps, they were kind of all over the place. They sell anywhere from $10.99 to $19.99. I 
Um, I think these are in pretty good condition. There is one little tiny spot right over here. You can really look for it where it doesn't have the mesh. But um, other than that, they're in really good shape. So I'm hoping, you know, I can I'm going to have to lift these at least for, um, I'd like to lift them for at least 15 Because if I paid $5 for them, I'm going to have to pay fees. And it's probably going to be a couple bucks. But I'd like to at least be able to put $10 from the sale in my pocket. And, um, so that kind of gives you an idea of, um, things to be looking for shoes to pick up and gives you an idea of what they're selling for in my area. It may be totally different in your area. Um, I've heard some retailers talk about that they've seen Nikes listed for $19.99. And um, there's there's no way that as a retailer you can buy them for $19.99 and sell them for $25. That's almost not even making you any money. For your time and i'm starting to sweat so i don't know if it's the hot tea if it's the lozenge if i'm breaking the sweat or it's just really gotten gotten hot out here but remember that you are blessed to be a blessing so go out today and make today a great day